The Canadian forces have done an about face and the Navy will not be putting half of its control, uh, coastal patrol ships on ice after all. The chief of defense staff has told his top admiral to rescind the order to pull a half dozen ships out of service including three at CFB Esquimalt. Canada's top soldier says the military will take a look at other ways to maximize resources. Critics say this hasty reversal amounts to a flip-flop by a government that is out of touch. A news reporter Andrew Johnson has the latest. Our Navy is second to none. Uh, we've seen them in, uh, off the Horn of Africa, uh, in the Gulf, and off the coast of Haiti. General Walter Natinchik's message is clear. The Canadian Navy in its 100th year will not be gutted or cut back, and no ships will be tied up. But I've asked uh, General or Admiral McFadden uh, to, um, to rescind his instruction. He's cancelling in order to reduce the fleet of maritime coastal defence vessels from 12 to 6 that was leaked to the media. At CFB Esquimalt, it would have meant HMCS Nanaimo, Saskatoon and Yellowknife would be downgraded to a state of extended readiness. HMC ships Vancouver and Algonquin would be used for only limited missions, while combat systems would be cut aboard HMCS Ottawa. This government is gutting our Navy. Esquimalt Juan de Fuca MP Keith Martin erupted in the House of Commons yesterday, and today Victoria's MP also blames the confusion on the Harper government. This flip-flop uh, is on the part of the government, and it just shows how out of touch they are with uh, an issue uh, that they say is very important to them. Canada's top soldier admits Defence Minister Peter McKay was caught off guard and Natinchik is taking the blame. It's my job to make sure that my minister is not surprised. McKay has pointed out his government will invest $40 billion for shipbuilding over the next 20 years and that the Navy's budget has already been bumped up by $200 million this year alone. But political watchers on the island say the Conservatives have left the Navy in a no-win situation. They're saying it's not a flip-flop. We support our military. The money's there. Uh, this is a decision that the military have made, which, you know, we, we don't support. Uh, so it's, it's a, tough, a tough spot for the military uh, brass because, you know, they've got to think uh, short-term and long-term. And sometimes long-term decisions don't look like the right ones right away. The Canadian forces will now hunt for the money to keep the six Kingston-class ships afloat that were to be tied up in Esquimalt and Halifax by finding a way to make do with less someplace else. Andrew Johnson joins us now with more. Andrew, uh, the Navy has identified modernizing its aging fleet as a top priority. Uh, have those plans been affected by the about face over maintaining the fleet that exists now? Hudson, it doesn't look like that's the case. The government has committed to build 15 new ships over the next two decades, and the Navy will continue to focus on its three Victoria-class submarines and the modernization of the Halifax-class frigates, which will be going in for refit between now and 2017, and include HMCS Calgary and Winnipeg based here on the island. All right, Andrew Johnson, thank you. You're welcome.